On the day that we celebrated our independence and freedom, a Phoenix family was dealing with what appears to be a hate crime. They came home to find anti-Semitic graffiti. Lauren Reimer joins us now live tonight to show us what the family is doing about it. Lauren? Well, the family had just gotten home from a 4th of July vacation when they found this graffiti on their mailbox. And tonight, this hateful message, it's still here. Ari and Shoshana Simones, a young Jewish couple living in Phoenix off of Glendale Ave near Highway 51, say in the four years they've owned their home, they've never been targeted like this. My heart just kind of sunk, um, and I was just just sad um, and disgusted. They say someone spray painted a swastika and the word Jew in black on their mailbox. A neighbor tried to cover up the ugly message, writing them a handwritten note. I looked at him and I asked him, I said, what was it? And he said it was a swastika and I just cried. But the reality uh, too disturbing to sweep under the rug. As Jews, we are very aware of anti-Semitism, um, of you know bigotry and hate in general. They say this type of graffiti is especially painful because Ari's grandparents are Holocaust survivors. Tonight, they're sharing what happened, hoping to show others that this type of hate still exists. And, you know, People need to know that um, there are people who, who are ignorant and hateful and have these feelings and, um, and do these types of things in the world, and, um, and hopefully that can be dispelled through awareness. Well, the family tells me they're not going to cover up this graffiti, at least not yet, until they can get their family members and friends together to repaint it with some more positive messages. In Phoenix, Lauren Reimer, CBS 5 News.